school are, and that's fair enough. I appreciate your old schoolness. <laughs> and uh, mm. got some amazing vision to show you, actually. You, you are, you're, you're getting pretty strong on gambling at the moment for the yeah. AFL, aren't yes. you? You're cracking down on it. Yeah. Yes, you are. Great. I want to take you... specifically. Uh, someone on Facebook actually <laughs> alerted us to this. This is from 1984. This is the Peter Landy show on Channel 7. <laughs> Just check this out. Welcome back to 7th Big League. It's time now for our TAB footy bets competition and our two winners, Mr A. Dimitriou of West Coburg and Mr G. Elliott of Temple State. Sam, Sam Lyon, who is very good at research, tells us you used to live in West Coburg. Now, that is correct. That actually was a winner and it lives in my household, but it was my father, Anthony. <laughs> Tony. True story. <laughs> Did you ever bet on the... I mean, back in the day... I know it's, it's, everyone understands the rules now, but back in the day... Um did you know of players in your playing era betting on footy? Was it no, no. In fact, when we played in North, uh, when I played at North Melbourne, I can seriously tell you I can't remember ever, ever betting on football. But we certainly did bet on the horses, and it wasn't unusual for at half time or three quarter time for Arnold Brightus to walk in and say, "What's who's won the first leg of the quadrilla?" <laughs> be, he'd be looking at the scoreboard, and I'd be looking at the see who won race seven. Race and numbers, yeah. He always knew if he was playing well, he'd, he's in the, still in the quadrilla, and if he, he if he was out, he'd have a shocker in the last quarter. <laughs> Do you, how disappointed do you get personally, given everything that the AFL does in terms of educating a players? I mean, we have a situation like the one we had with Will Minson and Daniel Pearce this week, particularly with somebody like Will, who, to me, him is to know that he's an intelligent man and the message wouldn't, you wouldn't think, get lost on somebody like Will Minson.